Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Maze Automation Channel. In the last session, we have seen about SVGs in the manual way. The reason uh, why I have created that session is when you are taking an interview, interviewer asks you to write the X path for SVG over a notepad or in the inspect mode. They will not ask you to identify with the help of any tool. But when you are working actually in the automation, if you write in the manual way, it will take some time. So automated way is also very good, right? So with that, I will take an tool, which is a selector sub. So let me go to the browser here and I will inspect this page and uh, go to the elements. And if you have the selector sub tool in your system, if you are not, then I have created a session on selector subs, how to install that tool. So it's a very handy tool. I have already did a couple of sessions. I, I will share that link to you in the description as well in the thumbnail. So you can refer to that and uh, to enable selector sub. So you need to go to the elements and then you have the bottom section where is you will see the style channel. So after the accessibility, you will see the more button here and you can select the selector sub. Right. So then the selector sub is used to mainly uh, to get faster X paths and basically you can rely on the manual way also, but that will take more time. Ideally, we need to take the faster action. So this tool is very handy tool. And I wanted to identify a couple of locators here, like a uh, mic icon here. If I click on that, as soon as you highlight that in the tool, you can see SVG element. It says that it is an SVG element and uh, SVG elements doesn't support the standard XPath like I said in the previous session normal XPath way of finding is not applicable in terms of uh, finding the XPaths so this we need to remember and uh, now if you see here relative path I'm highlighting here in the relative XPath so it has taken the first XPath then followed by you have a SVG name and then you have a name and path and contains. So if I control copy and you can see here, if it is not visible in one line, maybe I will inspect and put it here. So it has used in different, different concepts. So in the last session, I have covered only few of the methods. So here you can see more methods like uh, name equal to SVG and name equal to path this we have discussed and additional attribute which came here is contains so contains at the rate fill so this path has the fill here so contains this path contains extra item or attribute called fill after that fill you have some value here hash code so that hash code is copied here if I again inspect to the another icon like a magnifying glass you can see for that it is not taken the entire fill icons or contains it's just taken the SVG so let me put it here SVG and then under that you have the path here so if I if I need to identify that path as well so you can see here I can use this element selectors in the selector sub tool you can see SVG element and you can also add like other attributes like followed by then you have one more icon which is a path or attribute called path I can use a square basis and uh, I can use a name method method equal to path so it will say it is a valid or invalid if I give incorrect name here or incorrect syntax it will just simply say that red colored it represents that it is a not a valid path Okay. and you can work on keep on finding the different different locators with the SVGs it will give you the exact uh, X path for that so this is a bit easier one the previous session what we have discussed is as part of interview point of view when interviewer asks you to write the X path in terms of finding the SVGs then you can refer to that session and when you're actually working on automation you need to take the faster reactions then use this tool which will be very handy tool which is selector sub I hope this session is helpful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, queries, do post in my comment section. I will help you out. If the session is helpful for you, do post a like and share with a colleague. Thank you for watching.